Back in LA, this is true. All know what a loser I am. This is a totally true story, man. It happened pre-baby a while back. Uh, it was like a, it was a Friday night, and I'm sitting home doing nothing. And true, one of my buddies calls me, and he's like, dude, let's get out of that. You gotta get out of the house, man. You know, your wife's out with her dumbass friends. <laughs> You're on Xbox Live, getting your ass handed to you by 14 year olds. <laughs> let's go do something fun, right? So we go. This is totally true. I've never done this before. I went to a, a, an LA club. I went to like a dance club. Which, uh, mm. first of all, I don't like dance music or people. And then I'm like, and you can't smoke weed in here? In any place that's not my house or my car or a field or a movie theater or a police station. Yeah. This is true. We're not having a good time. Even my buddy that dragged me out for the night, he's not having a good time. And I'm like, dude, can we leave? Can we leave? And he goes, let's just go in the VIP area. You know, we pay to cover. Let's go in the VIP area and see if it's any better. It's not. It's just full of douchebags and douchebagettes. And uh, one of the things I noticed in L.A., like, I hope it hasn't come up here yet, but all the plastic surgery that's fucking gone crazy down there, like, these girls, yeah, and they all ruin themselves. And, you know, and, and uh, it's like... They all start to look the same, too. Like, they get the same eye job, and they get the same weird, goofy, you know, duck lips and shit. <laughs> They're all starting to look the same. It's like hot girl down syndrome. <laughs> well, that retard has really sweet fake tits over there. You just let them see him for candy? <laughs> I put it there, but it's there. <laughs> so we're not having a good time, and I'm finally convinced my buddy to leave, and we're about to leave the club, and then this happens. Dennis Rodman walks in. Yes. Remember him from basketball and weirdness? The giant freak. Rodman walks in, I swear to God this happened, he sizes us all up, he looks at all the guys, and looks at all the girls in the VIP area, and kind of checks us all out, and then he struts to the center of the VIP area with like this level of confidence that I will never fucking know. <laughs> and he says this, someone's getting fucked tonight. <laughs> Me and my buddy are like, not us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Rodman is a big dude, and I cannot fight. <laughs> he can make that happen if he really, really wanted to. <laughs> what a horrible way for me to end my Friday night out in L.A. <laughs> me behind a dumpster screaming at him, Why are you doing this? <laughs> this is awful. Slayer. <laughs> So we're driving home, and uh, me and my buddy, not me and Rodman, and, uh, <laughs> and I bummed out, because I realized I can never do that, right? Like, I can never walk into any room and go, someone's getting fucked tonight. <laughs> this guy, right? <laughs> and I need my own house. <laughs> and my uh. birthday. <laughs> when I'm dying. <laughs> I love, like, sometimes I get, like, the fake sympathy there, but here's the thing. I don't need sympathy, fake or otherwise. Because I know what I look like, right? You know what I mean? Like, my mirror works. <laughs> I'm super aware of what I'm putting out there to the general public. Because I see this shit every day before you guys do it. But really still, fuck. <laughs> Guess I gotta go outside again and bum out strangers. <laughs> And look, I have people come up to me and go, God, you're so mean to yourself, you make fun of yourself, and, I, you know, it's not that, I just know what I'm working with, you know, and it's not just my face, it's the whole package, you know, it's having this goofy mug attached to this giant freakish body. I mean, there's certain things looking like I do and being my size that I can't do that regular sized people like you guys take for granted. Like, I can't sneak up on people. <laughs> I can, but it really farts with them. <laughs> Behind them going, I'm sure this is 
shitty way to sneak up on people. They're always like, oh, fuck, that hairless yeti's gonna eat me. <laughs> also, when you're this big, you can never wear overalls and a mask. <laughs> Not even on Halloween. Cops will fill you full of bullets. <laughs> supernatural killer they are sending back to hell. <laughs> also, when you're this big, you can't dig at night. <laughs> yeah, no night digging. <laughs> Circle slash night digging. If this is the look you're rocking, because your neighbors will move. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, that freak from that one show is out in his backyard again with a burlap sack and a shovel. With a lift for some reason. Night digging. <laughs> One thing I can never do if I'm in a mall or, a, you know, an airport, I can never go up to somebody with a family and never go up to them and go, cute kid. <laughs> <laughs> Not with this face. My face is all rapey and shit. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Born with a rapey face. <laughs> Thanks, baby Jesus, for making me look all rapey. <laughs> that will surely be a challenge. And uh, now that I have the kid, you know, I miss my kid all the time. Like today, I'm flying up, and I had to leave him before he woke up. And, and so I'm at the airport, and I see a little kid that looks like mine, because I've got a little blonde guy, and he's about that big. And uh, I see this other blonde kid, and I want to go up and go, Hey, I got one just like that at home. <laughs> I don't remember this thing. <laughs> like, in your basement? <laughs> it's alive when I left him. <laughs> See what happens Monday. <laughs> so, one more thing before I get into that. Uh, so, pre-baby, another thing.